What is going on, friends? If you're new to the channel, my name's Evan and I'm an online reseller. That means I go to places like garage sales and thrift stores to find stuff to sell online for a profit. Today we're doing something a little different. I'm actually on the way to the Goodwill Bins or the Goodwill Outlet Center. Basically what that is is when products sit for so long at Goodwills, they basically liquidate them at these stores. They put them in large bins and you pay for everything by the pound. So it can be busy. It can be stressful, but I'm going to give you some tips on how to survive and how to thrive at the Goodwill Bend. So stay tuned. So we made it to the Bend. It's about 10 a.m. And that brings up our first tip. What time should you get here? This Goodwill actually flips basically the whole store over and out, puts out fresh inventory, and there's a crowd in the morning. So if you want the good stuff and don't mind fighting crowds, get here when they open. You have to stay in the line for a bit, but maybe worth it. I personally like to get here a little later. Crowds die down a little bit. May not get as good as stuff, but I don't have to compete for it either. So let's get in here and see what we can find. One of the things you really need to understand about the Goodwill bins is the pricing. Most items are paid by the pound, but different items have different rates. Also, some items are priced individually. So make sure you do a little research when you walk in so you know what you'll be paying at the end. Tip number three is to have a plan. I like to come in and scan everything over once real quick, see if there's anything on top, and then I'll start digging. Next tip is to give yourself plenty of time. There's a mountain of stuff here and they're putting stuff out throughout the day as well. So take your time, it's gonna take a while. Inevitably, there's some broken glass or something nasty or dirty at the bins. So I do recommend gloves. Just happened to forget mine today.
tip is to be nice, be respectful. This place can get pretty crowded and it can get pretty competitive. Be nice to other people and they'll probably be nice to you. tip is to inspect your items closely before you check out. Make sure there's no rips, tears, stains, broken, missing pieces, that kind of thing. You need to inspect closely because lots of times there's a reason that this stuff didn't sell at the regular Goodwill. So look close and take your time. So I did actually buy a few things. I paid $6.45 for everything that you see here. And that's a pretty good deal. I've got this chipping and driving mat. That's actually for me, it's new in the box. This real flight RC flight simulator sells for like 20 or 30 on eBay. Got this Florida State hat. It's older, it's not vintage. I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. This hook and gaff hat. They make nice watches. So I figured the hat might be worth something. I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. This camera, this is a Pentax. IQ Zoom 80G it goes for like 20 on eBay. XM Rody remote control, brand new in the package, sells for 12 plus shipping. I've got this black inductor power inverter. I've been wanting one for my wife. She needs something to charge her laptop when we're on road trips, and that should work pretty well. I've got this over the shoulder leather bag, Coro Cuero. I don't speak Spanish, so I'm not real sure, but real high quality, nice bag. I think I can get 20 or 30 for it. And then I got this bag for me. This is a Cubility, it's like a laptop computer bag mine busted last week so i needed one in really good shape it's got a lock on the back and it's got a usb cable not sure exactly what it does but this thing sells for like 167 dollars on amazon so not a bad buy so that was fun I actually got a wide variety of items and that kind of brings me to my next tip is to come often you never know what this place is going to have they get new inventory every day and sometimes multiple times a day so you never know what you're going to find and it's always going to be a wide variety but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had fun if you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. Hope you get something out of these tips, and we'll see you next time.